What is up, world? What's in the box? So we have an X performance clutch and right off the back the box feels lighter than my DKM box. So let's see what we have inside. We have some kind of instruction manual. We have, oh that's pretty cool looking, performance clutch and flywheel specialist. All right, good to know. We have some uh, more instructions in color too. These guys didn't even put them in black and white. Look at that. Clutch Tech BMW Release Bearing Fitment. All right. Oh, look at this. A bunch of cool X Clutch decals. Definitely going to be using those. They gave me a shit ton of decals. And uh, a little phone. Oh, my goodness. Good Lord. That inodized purple looks spectacular, guys. So, supposedly, oh, my goodness. The throwout bearing feels so beefy. Shit is crazy, bro. Look at this. This thing is fucking wicked solid. Holy shit. So far, I like what I see. Bro, this gotta be the beefiest alignment tool I ever seen, bro. What is this? This shit is solid metal. I wish you could feel the weight on this thing right now. We got some new flywheel bolts. Look at the packaging in a sealed bolt pack. Oh, we got a new pilot bearing. And inside of here, this thing is like plastic wrap to the fullest. Bro, look how thick this plastic is. Oh my god, this fucking clutch look how the pressure plate has all these bolts going around it holy shit sauce dude this thing looks fucking beefy yeah that dkm bro man never again i i'm never buying another competition product but yo what's crazy is this feels a lot lighter but the components Look at this. I wish you guys could hold this in your hand compared to the stock freaking throwout bearing. Guys, I am so confused right now. My DKM clutch had like six bolts holding on the pressure plate. Right now, it's like totally different than a standard clutch, bro. I, I think... All of these bolts are holding the pressure plate on. I could be wrong. I don't know yet. Let me go through the instructions. This thing, I just can't get over the quality of just those two pieces alone. All right, let's dive into the pressure plate. Okay, guys. So I just removed all the outer perimeter bolts with a five millimeter uh, Allen socket. There's 20 bolts, just remove them. And this is how you get off the pressure plate. This design is so different, guys. So look, I just removed that piece. We put it to the side. And then, look at this. We got this piece here. Clutch first this is in here. How do you get that out of there? Oop. I opted for the organic um, full face disc because I do drive this on the street. And then look, it has gearbox side. So I'm gonna to try to take this off in order, sorta. And then look at this. It's a totally different setup, guys. And then you have the second disc. It's like all in this little basket. Oh, 
careful. I got the other disc out of there. And then this is the flywheel, guys. Look at that. Look at that. This whole piece is the flywheel. So this is what we got to mount to the crankshaft first and foremost. Guys, so my motor that I built is a six bolt crankshaft N54, which means it was the later generation of the N54. When they dropped the 07, they started with the eight bolt crank. Supposedly the eight bolt cranks are stronger, but when I got the donor motor at the time, I had no idea of this stuff, but when you're buying your clutch kit for the manual, you have to be very sure if you have a six bolt or eight bolt. So as you can see, I have six bolts. One bolt is for the dowel pin. And uh, I'm not sure what the other hole is for, but look at this motherfucker, guys. So we got our six bolts here. Let's go over the instruction manual, find out our torque specs. And I went ahead and I bought some 271 Loctite from AutoZone. This is good for 300 degrees Fahrenheit and it should help with the vibration. All right guys, our first set of instructions, you know, clean the back of the, the engine, you know what I'm saying? And then degrease the back of the flywheel. Uh, they want you to use 243 thread locker and it says to torque it to manufacturer specifications. I'm looking at the bolts. They look pretty similar to DKM's friggin' bolts, and they don't have their own special torque spec. They want me to torque it to manufacturer's torque spec. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-set the thread locker and all six bolts. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I put the Loctite on the bolts. I don't know if you can see that. It's red Loctite, but um, it's on there. We're using the 271. And while this is setting up on the bolts, I'm gonna get some rubbing alcohol, clean the back of the flywheel, and clean the mating surface of the crankshaft. We got our handy dandy 3 8 torque wrench, and also we got our flywheel holder tool. All right guys, we're underneath the car. I got my rubbing alcohol on this microfiber and we're just gonna clean the mating surface here. So as you guys see the back of the flywheel here, it's pretty oily. So we got our alcohol on the microfiber. We're just gonna rub this off here. Make sure it's nice and clean. Okay guys, so I'm threading the bolts in by hand first. Okay guys, so now we have the locking tool installed. So now the flywheel cannot move. So we can torque the flywheel bolts to spec, okay? We got the digital 3 8 torque wrench, 3 8 drive with a 10 millimeter Allen with a short extension. All right, world. We got fresh batteries in the torque wrench set to 120 newton meters. All right, guys, we slid the alignment tool on there. I think it's beefy, bro pop that on there then we got our first clutch disc with the transmission side facing towards the tranny of course then we gonna slide this on there oh come on bitch I gotta find it. the grooves oh bitch just slipped right in there I like that okay then we gotta get the intermediate plate. There we go. And then now for the next clutch disc, you want the gearbox side, transmission side, facing the tranny. So we're going to slide that one in next. other disc in there then we need the the pressure plate piece 
Okay, guys, now we got the pressure plate piece. I'm sure we got to do that same alignment dance. Let's see if we get on the first shot. No. Oh, second shot. Not bad. And then we put on a sexy purple piece. And the instruction says you start with 10 bolts first. And then we'll go to instructions next. So next goes this piece. I'm just going to review the instructions. And this feels a little bit greasy. So I'm going to clean this with alcohol. Okay, well, I had to do like five passes on this pressure plate. As you see, I'm marking the bolts as I go to torque them down. 18 Newton meters. It's crazy, bro. I still got quite a few to do.